Hi, my name is Michael Keel. Uh, I'm from Portage, Pennsylvania. It's right in the middle between Johnstown and Altoona. Uh, I've been on the state board for several years now. Uh, I could probably summarize why I'm on the state board with a quote from Claire Hall. He says that there is more in us than we know. If we can be made to see it, then perhaps for the rest of our lives, we'll be unwilling to settle for less. I don't think people with disabilities should ever settle for less. I think jobs are the great equalizer. I think having a seat at the table where someone has to contribute is not only uh, uh, empowering, but it's it's enlightening to, to others around. Uh, jobs are the great equalizer, and having someone uh, giving them the opportunity to take part in society fully is, uh, I think, a, a very noble mission that the state board undertakes. And I'm happy to be a part of it. Hi, my name is Liza Conyers. I'm a professor at Penn State University. I coordinate the clinical rehabilitation and mental health counseling program. And I was interested in joining the board because um, I'm very um, committed to improving employment opportunities for people with disabilities. When I started the field, I had an interest in human and civil rights and employment is such a key factor in that. And um, I look forward to working with colleagues and uh, other folks from OVR and around the state and different state agencies to try to develop and support uh, programs to increase employment opportunities for people with disabilities. My name's MJ Bartleme. I'm from Hermitage, Pennsylvania. I've uh, been a member of the State Board for Vocational Rehabilitation for a few years now. I came to the board because of my background in the disability advocacy movement, primarily for folks with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I'm the father of a 25-year-old young man who's very involved, uh, uh, has diagnosis of Down syndrome on the autism spectrum, nonverbal, and virtually no self-help skills. My hope is to continue to build capacity for my son to be able to live the uh, most inclusive life possible in the community. And of course, part of that would involve competitive employment. Um, I think that's the starting point for everyone, and not just folks with disabilities. So my, my hope and goal is to continue to see OVR provide those types of opportunities for citizens in the Commonwealth.